this is what we are. We are like creations. I do not wish to be here on a material time scale whenever I can be here now as a light creation. I am a light creation. You are a light creation. You know what that means, right? It means that there is nothing out there which is nothing that you can't do. That is what a light creation is. The reason why I say this is because a light creation is basically this. You adhere to light. You become and you are light. You know what happens when you fully embrace your lightness, right? When you do this, well, what basically happens is that you go out and you seek whatever you want to seek and then simply light finds you where everything is appropriate. Everything happens. Everything works well. What I don't like is that I can't talk to a person in terms of you are light. I want to talk to people as light creations about light, about what we can do with our light. I don't want to talk to people about politics, material generality, or individualism when we are one. We are all the perspectives of each other. Our individual experiences about being broke or successful, well, we are here. We are surviving in order to provide the freedom and the hope to ourselves and the rest of the world within the known future. This is not our role. Our role is the role of the role models of the future, but a different kind. Not one of greed and abuse, but one of abundance and grace. I see the very things that binds us, the very idea that creates this perception of reality. I don't live in this world. I live in my world, the world that I have created. This doesn't mean that the world outside of me doesn't affect me. It does a great deal. This entire idea means that I can and I do choose what I influence and what I see. Partake in or actually decide what actually enters my own consciousness. That's what I mean by creating my own world. What I do agree with is this, that there is much outside of me and as there is inside of me. A, a world inside of me breathes, grows, and becomes just as a world outside of me. This still bring, brings me back to the point. We are light. The inside of us can be considered light or dark depending on what we focus on. Just like the outside of us. There is no darkness without light. That is what everything stems down to. We are light. We live in light. Everything around us is made of light. There is nothing else. No other. Some of us see this light as a positive force, positive nature. But without light, then there would be no darkness. And which means that dark is created by light. Everything is light, even the darkness. This is truth that is undeniable. The light holds us, works for us, and keeps you in balance of peace within everything within this universe. We are the light. It is a source that flows through us and sustains us. We are the love. I do apologize for that absence, but the main point in all of this is that everything changes. There is nothing in this world that is constant change. Nothing in this world. There is nothing in this world that is constant. Nothing is constant. Everything has variables. Everything changes. This includes every single molecule, every atom within your body. It all cha is changing right now at this very moment. There is no such thing as no change. 
because everything has changed. This is my decision making in action. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> the decisions that we make and even sometimes that we don't know exactly what kind of decision that is. You're just doing something. You are doing something to move forward or to change. There is actually no such thing as moving backwards. You are always moving forward in one way or another, which takes any stage of individual life. The idea that we must take hold and be strong and adhere to is that no matter what you are doing, you are always moving forward. Now moving forward will almost always take on some sort of change, but an individual must know and understand that this is the universe. This is constant change.